Yes, madam. You can see my screen, right? Ah, uh, yes, sir. You can go ahead. Okay, sir. Um, so good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Arpita. Today, uh, we'll be discussing a few Salesforce admin interview questions. Uh, the first, sir, can you go to next slide, sir? Uh, the first one is, can we use the standard object as a child object and custom object as a parent? So uh, when, when we take a master data relationship, uh, only the standard object uh, is allowed as a parent and the custom as a child. So we can't use a standard object as a child object. Uh, even we can use a custom object as a master and as a child, both we can be uh, like a custom object can be used as a both, but a standard object only should be used as a parent. So uh, that's the first one. Uh, the second one, sir, can you go to next slide? The second question is, can we use custom object as a child and standard object as a parent? So as we already discussed that, the custom object can be used as a child and a standard object as a parent. So next one is, uh, which field types can be used as a controlling field and which one as a dependent? So first of all, uh, what's a controlling field? Controlling field is uh, uh, something uh, depending on the type of values, we can control the other fields. Like what uh, the values present in that field can be uh, based on those values, the other fields can be controlled. And the dependent is it's dependent on uh, the controlling field. So we have our different field types here. Uh, we'll go through each one. So the first one is a standard pick list. So the standard pick list can be used as a controlling field, uh, but not as a dependent. Uh, so first let's check what's the like standard pick list values and all. Uh, sir, can you go to the next slide? So this is a, a screenshot. Uh, uh showing the standard and custom pick list values so i think i think it's a uh, uh, like it's visible uh, so the yeah this one so here we can see the lead source and lead status as a pick list values right so those are the standard pick list so how we can identify it we already know that the custom pick list will have a um, underscore underscore c so with the help of that we can identify it's a custom but here uh, in the lead source and lead status section we don't have that so it's a standard pick list so uh, can we go to next slide uh, next uh, next okay so in this uh, in the controlling field, uh, we uh, like in the controlling field, we have some options, right? You can see, like we have a lead source, lead status, and everything. So in the controlling field, uh, we have this lead source and lead status. So these, uh, as we have seen uh, before, these two are the standard pick list. So it's available in controlling field. Uh, so can you go to the next slide? So here, the dependent field values here. So can we see those values here? No, right, we can't see. So the uh, the standard pick list values can, uh, can't be used as a dependent fields, only uh, can be used in a controlling fields. Uh, so can we go to, yeah. Next is a custom pick list value. So the custom pick list value can be used both as a, a controlling and a dependent field. Um, so can you go to sixth slide? Okay, uh, here can, uh, uh, sorry, sir, uh, fifth slide, sir. Yeah, uh, here we can see the custom pick list values, which is uh, the, prim um, the primary and the product interest. So these both are, uh, these two are the custom pick list values, as we can see here. Uh, sir, can we go to that controlling field and those? Uh, down, down, sir. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So in the controlling field, uh, which ones are the custom field, like the primary and the product interest we have seen as a custom pick list, right? So they are available in a controlling field. So the custom pick list values can be used as a, a controlling field. And the next, uh, next one. Yeah. Uh, ninth slide, sir. Yeah, so it's available in a dependent field uh, as well. So the custom pick list values can be used both as a controlling and a dependent field. 
Okay, so the next one is the multi select pick list. Uh, the multi select pick list can, um, uh, can't be used as a controlling, but it can be used as a dependent. So, um, so uh, slide next slide. Uh, France, sir. In income on the key. Mm, it's a multi. Okay. So here the multi select pick list value is a product. As we can see here, the products is the multi select pick list values. Okay, sir. So in the controlling field, we can't see products anywhere. So that multi select cannot be used as a controlling field. And in the dependent, we can see the products. So depend uh, the pro multi select can be used as a dependent field. So the last one is a checkbox. So the checkbox it can be used as a controlling but not as a dependent. Uh, uh, yes, so so here checkboxes uh, we have a, I think three values. Uh, do not call, email opt out, fax opt out. So those are all the checkbox values. So when we come to here, we can see in the controlling field, like do not call, fax, opt out, email. So, so the checkbox can be used as a controlling field, but not as a dependent field. Okay, so next question. So uh, like the next one is the same as we discussed before. Can we use a standard pick list as a dependent field and custom as a controlling? So as we've seen before, we can't use standard pick list as a dependent field, but a uh, custom pick list can be used both as a controlling and a dependent. So this is how can we find the primary master detail in an object? So first of all, the primary master detail uh, will have a, a primary and a secondary master detail when we have a single object, uh, uh, an object which has a two master detail uh, relationship associated with it. Uh, then we'll have a primary and secondary. So, uh, like, how can you find out a primary and uh, which object is which relationship is a primary and which is a second? So, to identify that, we uh, we need to go to the workbench.developerforce.com. So, when you uh, go to that, we'll have a uh, you can see a screenshot showing that. Uh, so, when you log in, uh, so can you go to twelve slides, sir? Yeah, uh, you will have this and you need to log in, to, log in with the Salesforce, uh, with your Salesforce account. Then uh, this dialog box, like this one, this screen appears. Then after that, you need to jump to the standard and custom objects. And in our object box, student. Student is that uh, the object where, uh, which has a relationship, with, uh, master data relationship with the other two objects. So here we can see, like after uh, entering that object, we have a, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this screen appears. Here we have a field section. When we go to the field section, uh, like we need to select which objects you have a relationship with. So this is, I think this is the um, branch object. So here in this, we can see that relationship order is zero. So in the branch object, it has a relationship order zero. So if it's uh, order is zero, then it's a primary master detail. Uh, in, in the next, I think this is a course. So yeah, it's course. So if the relationship order is one, then it's a secondary master detail. Oh, that's also, thank you. Yeah, thanks madam. You prepared very well actually. This PPT is very good actually. Easily you can understand. Oh, thank thank you, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Any questions, sir? Anyone? Thanks. Uh, 